That's what people around the region had to say when we ask if Michael Vick deserves a second chance at the NFL. As you may very well know, he's about to get out of prison after almost two years in jail for his role in a dogfighting operation. This is just something that has offended so many people nationwide. But the question is, now that he's paid his debt to society, should he have the opportunity to come back and earn a living at what he was so successful at prior to his conviction? If you want to tell us what you think, you can email me and share your thoughts with me. Also, look for us on Facebook. We respond to you pretty much uh, instantaneously there. So tell us what you think about the topic on Facebook, MySpace, or YouTube. Okay, we were talking a little bit before about the philosophical aspect of this case and whether he should be or legally whether he'll be allowed back. Let's talk about the PR aspect of it. I mean, if a team takes him because he is highly qualified and has, has good stats, what kind of fallout do you think there would be from accepting him as their new quarterback or even as a member of the team? Well, he's, first he's got to deal with his teammates, Lynn. And he's he's got to re-ingratiate himself into pro football. You mean he's half of the people that participate no. in dog fighting, but yeah. you don't know nothing about? No, no, he ain't no, gonna no. have a problem. He's, he's not gonna have any problem he's, with he's that. Gotta, he's, he's got problem. He's got to prove these himself. stuff. His not no, 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 not in terms of his, his conviction. No. In terms of proving himself after no. a two-year layoff. No. If he can't play at that level again, well, then that's different. He yeah. can't play. Right. He can't play. But it's not no, gonna be. True. It's not gonna be the players. It's it's the owners. It's the NFL that are looking at this larger PR issue. Well, yeah, it's the public, but that's, you know, that's always And, and plus, his, his Atlanta Falcon teammates were behind him. There were people wearing shirts to the end yeah. of it. But I would agree. It, it's well, a PR nightmare. No, yeah. no, no reason why it's a PR nightmare, because at the end of the day, you're going to have to do something to ingratiate yourself to, unfortunately, Peter Paul and the rest of them. And the reason why you're going to have to do that, and I think you can do that, is have Michael Vick do some things that are, I think, productive for animal rights. Well, I think he's done that. Or, I think I mean, part of his sentencing to was to actually make um, a public service announcement saying but Peter that said this it wasn't is, enough. That's right, not but I mean, enough. he, it is, it he agreed enough. to it do that. It isn't enough to do what Tariq is saying. He needs to do more. And in fact, what hurt him in this case is that he made a plea agreement. He, the state, the government recommended 18 months. He actually got 23 months because part of that deal was that he was supposed to accept responsibility mm -hmm. and say, admit that he had killed the dogs. And, right. and he really didn't at his yes. allocution. Oh, why, though. Yes. Maybe he didn't accept responsibility for actually killing the dogs because he didn't actually well, kill the dogs. That, that, how, how about that? Uh, that, that may be maybe the case. That is, it's it, going to take see, a lot more than a know, public service message to rehabilitate him in the public's eyes. Yeah, he's it's a not player. Right. See, but what's dogs, he have to do? I mean, dogs, let's, really, yeah. let's talk about the nuts and bolts. open his own what shelter and take care of some pit bulls that need adopting. But you guys just said, on the other hand, he's got to stay away from animals. No, they said it. I didn't. He has to make it right. With himself, and I'm not he talking about right Peter. With, with puppies. He, he needs to make it right. Really? He needs to make it right with dogs. When you think about this the governor, wait actually. a second, wait a minute. Wait. When, you think, when you think about the governor of this yeah. Commonwealth, the governor of this Commonwealth and the state legislature, legislature passing <laughs> laws against. Uh, puppy mills, when you think that the Vice President of the United States not only got a dog that he purchased from a breeder, but a second dog that he got from a kennel, the President of the United States wants to get a shelter dog. Michael Vick has to make it right yeah. with the dog community. But you do, and it, I'm not it, talking it, about PETA, but, you but I'm talking about the dog look, look, okay, But so you do agree, no matter what he does, really, in the end, he's never going back to the NFL. I, mean, I don't really, agree. I don't there's know. nothing I don't he know. can do that's going to get him that. in the NFL. He's not going to get in the NFL. That. He's not going to get in the Canadian Football League. He can't get in the Arena have, Football League anymore. no Arena Football League. There's nothing there. So I don't agree with you. Jeff, I have two words for you. T-O. I rest. <laughs> okay. So you say that he will, in fact, make it back to the NFL. Well, I, what no kind of team is going to take him? Who's going to want him? At the end of the day, a team that can benefit from his services. See, the one thing that's about fans, especially Philadelphia fans, but fans, I, I would say, around the country, people want a winning team. People want a winning team. That's why they put up with rest your, your case, T.O. Because at the end of the day, he can perform on the field. And if T.O. would have brought Dallas a championship, they, I wouldn't have cared what he did in the locker room. Just like here. You have people in Philadelphia right now that's saying if we had T.O. on the team, the Eagles would be better, despite all of the things that T.O. does. It's a different despite day. All of that. Nobody hired O.J. ever again. What it's the? a different day. Excuse me? O, what could O.J. have done? Was, O.J. was acquitted. He was having a fine time no, 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 before no, no, that. No. Okay, no. He was marketable before that. He Jeff. may not have been at his height, but he was marketable. He was never marketable Jeff. afterwards. 
Jeff, Michael the Vick's difference was back. what OJ did after the okay. acquittal. See, we have to, you, let's put well, it in perspective was, now. Hold up. He was a looking, complete looking jerk after the looking, acquittal. Looking, no, no, the, no, it was about he looked. If I would did it, this is how I would have done it. You know, going to play golf. I mean, he was an idiot after. Uh, we have to, you have to look at that. Uh, he didn't, me, you I would have been I love humble. this show. He was an idiot. OJ all the time. So I'm telling you, no matter you what we do, we always get back, back to, to OJ. OJ. We try. We should call it the OJ Network. Nothing ever elicits as much emotion no matter how many years go by and he shouldn't have got a job okay. he shouldn't have got another job he's a, it was an absolute asinine idiot i, I had to do the nine on there because the other part <laughs> sorry i started problem. that <laughs> <laughs> okay you say he's never going to come back well now we're going to have a guy who's adding to the unemployment ranks he's, in this he, country no he's a multimillionaire. except it, for the bank except for the no, bank the is reorganization he's paying thirty thousand dollars a month to have his mother his father whoever else taking care of every month he's a multimillionaire. he doesn't need to work anymore that's the fact of the matter is if he wants to work that's great and i think like i said personally he should be allowed back in he just won't be all right so we'll if you're, see if you're his agent how do you pitch him to a team? You gotta pitch his skill. You gotta say he spent two years getting better, stronger, faster, and harder. Pitch his skill, he's gonna save your team. And hopefully somebody's willing to pick him up and pay the kind of money well, they're gonna need to buy out his contract. So let's say that he's done all of the things that you just outlined. He's kept his skill level up, his strength, his speed, all of that. How do you advise a team to deal with the apparent PR fallout? If his skill is that good, and you can get him on board to do public service, to change the attitude that he portrayed before this case, during this case, and up until the day he went to jail. If you can pitch him as a changed man, then you've got a winning combination. That's a long way but of saying But you've got to have yeah. both. That's a long way of saying that you have to have a PR package together already. That's right. right. In other words, there are things That's that you exactly should right. do prior to even pitching That's him right. to a team to that have... That have to be in place. Absolutely. Okay. I'm, that's why he'll be back. That's going to be the last word on this, but by a show of hands, if he was coming to your hometown, <laughs> to your team, would you support him or would you, like, really be freaked out by it? Two hands for Taylor. Two hands for You would not support him? I would not support him. If he can play, he can play for me. Right, I can care. Just talk about you have your own little team, right? The Mark Neff team. Okay. Great to have you guys back with us. Thanks so much. Of course, you guys know this crowd as well as we do. Jeff Gold and Mark Neff, good to have you back with us. Always good to have you here. And Sadie Ladov and Tyreek El Shabazz. Thank you, Lynn. One of my favorite panels of all time. That is it for this topic. But before we go, we do want to share some thoughts that you've had on some of our previous shows. Here was one that I was really interested in. Trusting the media. We ask if you trusted the press today. Well, an anonymous viewer wrote to me and said, the media only tells part of the story and not the whole story. I think this is due to the ratings. The full story may not produce very good ratings. Kev Sr. lended his opinion. He said, I get tired of only hearing about wars, robberies, rapes, murders, etc., and they tend to save any happy ending stories to fill a 30-second spot at the end of the broadcast. And from our Facebook page, we have gotten a lot of responses. Go on to Facebook and see if you can check us out there and you'll see them. Look for the It's Your Call group. We'd love to have you as a member of it. Until the next time, I'm Lynn Doyle. This is It's Your Call, and we thank you for watching here on the Comcast Network.